Hey guys, today we're going to be answering the question that I get all the time, and that is this. Is it wrong to live with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Stick around, we're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth Jr. and I'm giving you truth for life. I want to say thanks so much for watching again this week. If you like my channel and enjoy these videos, go ahead and subscribe. I have new videos coming out every single Tuesday. So today we want to answer the question, is it wrong to live with your boyfriend or girlfriend? And when you ask this question, I think we need to consider a few factors from the Word of God. Number one, the first thing we need to talk about is that as you're in a relationship together, the first thing that happens when you're living together is that there's the temptation to engage in sex outside of marriage. And many people would argue that fornication is not necessarily condemned by the Bible, but I would say this, when Paul was talking to the Corinthian church, he said it's better for a single person to remain single if they can, but it's better for them to get married rather than to burn with sexual passion. What is he trying to tell them? It would be better that you get married to your husband or wife and have sex with them than to burn with sexual desires outside of marriage. And then Jesus was teaching in Matthew chapter 5 and he said this, you've heard it said that a man should not commit adultery. But I tell you that if a man has even looked at a woman with lust for her, he has already committed adultery in his heart. And so Jesus saw all the way from committing adultery in your heart to the act of actual adultery being sinful. And so if you're having sex with someone who's not your husband or wife outside of that covenant relationship, it's very obvious that this is something that is condemned by the scripture. Number two, Paul wrote in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 that it's very important important that believers avoid even the appearance of evil. And although you might be the strongest person that ever lived and you're living with your boyfriend or girlfriend and you're not having sex, when you're behind closed doors with no witnesses, you are now in a place where it's the appearance of evil because now you have no witness to say what you did or didn't do and you have effectively ruined your witness. Finally, Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 2 to his son in the gospel and he said this, flee youthful love. One translation says this, run away from anything that would stimulate youthful lusts. So it's very important to not put yourself in a position where you may fall into sin. I want to finish by saying this. The Bible says that in a good house, there are vessels of gold and silver, and there's also vessels of wood and earth. And God said that if you'll keep yourself pure and holy before him, you will become a vessel of gold that is fit for the master's use at any time. Keeping yourself pure and living for God makes you available for him to use at any moment in time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments in the section below. And don't forget until next time that goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week.